Eleanor Shellstrop, our debt. Cool. Hi, and welcome back. Netflix is a great service that gives you a lot of movies and TV shows, and because of the nature of Netflix, there are a lot of bad TV shows. So we've selected the best TV shows of all time that you can start watching on Netflix today. Number 10, Bridgerton. Bridgerton follows Daphne Bridgerton, the courageous eldest daughter of the Viscount Bridgerton S. household, as she makes her debut on the competitive inner city marriage market, hoping to follow in the footsteps of her parent and find a mate sparked by true love, Daphne S. chances initially seem unrivaled. As Betty Hastings' older brother gets swept up in the rumors that Daphne is a strumpet, the supposed scandalous high society sheet of the eligible Lord Whistledown accuses Daphne. Enter the Duke of Hastings, a notorious bachelor who catches the eye of Mama's debutantes and the regrettably desirable woman for whom he's been pining. Despite making themselves out to be reluctant, another exhibits interest when they confront society's expectations of individuals, proving their desire rejects logical criticism. Bridgerton has a 7.3 trading in IMDb and a 76 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Stare into my eyes. If this is to work, you must appear madly in love. The Duke truly has put your head in a spin. Is it awful? Number 9. The Queen's Gambit. Nine-year-old orphan Beth Harmon is somber, quiet, and unexceptional looking. That is, until she gets down to play a game of chess. Her senses develop at a greater rate than before. Her perception grows increasingly acute, and for the first time, she experiences life in a controlled manner. By 16, Beth is contending for the title of US Open Champion. But as she continues to develop her expertise on the professional circuit, the stakes rise, her helplessness intensifies, and the thought of surrender worsens. The Queen's Gambit has an 8.6 trading in IM Dibe and a 94 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. It's a drink. I'm worried about you. Don't make me over. What? What on earth for? Number eight, when they see us. In 1989, a jogger was attacked and raped in New York Central Park, and five young men were held accountable for the crime. The police dubbed the group the Central Park Five, and they spent the next several years defending their title and meriting exoneration. This limited series spans a quarter of a century, beginning with when teenagers interviewed about the incident in spring 1989. Their exoneration spanned from 2002 to 2014 and New York became part of a settlement agreement over that time as well, occurring over a quarter century afterward. The movie has a 8.9 trading in IMDb and a 90 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Who you in the park with? I don't know names. I just got lost. Where did you see the lady? One, one lady. The female jogger was severe. Number 7. Russian Doll. Emmy Award nominated actress Natasha Lyonne stars in this comedy drama series as Nadia, a young woman who is on a journey to be the guest of honor at a party in New York City. But she gets trapped in a mysterious loop as she keeps attending the same event and dies in its finale, only to regain consciousness the next morning with absolutely no recollection of what happened. Russian Doll has a 7.8 trading in IMDb and a 78 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. I am not crazy! You know I hate it! Some people call me crazy! Didn't you get the news? We're about to die! It doesn't matter, I die all the time. Number 6. Babylon Berlin Berlin was chosen as the center of many social and political changes that took place in the 20s and police commissioner Jaron Wraith was transferred to Germany's capital city. Shell-shocked by his service in World War I, he uncovers a nefarious network that relates to the seedy world of pornography while researching one of the city's most notorious rings. A larger conspiracy is underway, though, when Soviet rebels seize a train as part of an arrangement hatched by Trotsky supporters in the city. Babylon Berlin has an 8.4 trading in IMDb and a 95 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes.
Number 5. The Good Place, Eleanor Shellstrop is delighted she has arrived in The Good Place and doesn't wish that she had been a moment sooner. But before long, she realizes she's actually there by mistake. Hiding from Good Place architect Michael and his assistant, Janet, she prepares herself to bid them farewell. Tahani, Jason, and Chidi, open-hearted soulmate, as well fulsome members of the Eleanor camp, allow Eleanor to see it's never ever far too late to modify her lifestyle. Eleanor decides to accept her new way of life with the help of the new friends, as well, a few enemies, Tahani, Jason, and Chidi. The Good Place has a 8.2 trading in IMDb and an 89 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, Janet. Hi there. Ah. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? I can only play you a brief audio clip of what is happening there right now. <laughs> Number four. Schitt's Creek. Schitt's Creek, a wealthy couple, video store magnate Johnny and his wife Moira, suddenly find themselves completely broke. With only one remaining asset, a small provincial village called Schitt's Creek, which they purchased years ago as a prank, this could ill-mannered couple must abandon life as they know it. With their two young children in tow and their pampered lifestyles behind them, the Rose family is forced to face their newfound poverty head on and reunite as a single family to weather the storm. Schitt's Creek has an 8.5 trading in IMDb and a 91 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. This is my town, and you're gonna play by my rules now. I'm just messing with you, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> or am I? Number three, better call Saul. Goodman was not Saul Goodman always, a wizened lawyer who works with Walter White, the dealer turned drug kingpin. Six years before he tackles Albuquerque's main criminal, Goodman is Jimmy McGill, a small-time lawyer striving to do well for himself. Jimmy is a forceful champion for his low-income clients, an underdog whose morals and ambitions frequently clash. Jimmy works with private eye Mike A. Hermantraut, a former Philadelphia cop and recent transplant to the Southwest. Mike has a special talent. He can be considered as fixer of sticky situations that Jimmy very quickly learns to appreciate. Better Call Saul has a 8.9 trading in IMDb and a 95 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Split it 50-50. What stopped us? I remember you saying something about doing the right thing. I don't even know what that means. Number two, Outlander. Claire Randall, a page turner in the British Army during World War IE, is taking a second honeymoon in Scotland with her husband Frank, an agent of the British Intelligence Service. Suddenly, she finds herself transported to the island of 1743 and into an inexplicable new world. Claire pays attention to Jamie Fraser, a courageous Scots fighter who has a troubled past and an irreproachable sort of demeanor. In an attempt to survive both their diverse lifestyles, a passionate affair ensues, and Claire is caught between two often unbalanced men and women. Outlander has a 8.4 trading in IMDb and a 86 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. I know it doesn't make any sense. But I seem to have fallen through time. Number one, Breaking Bad. Mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher Walter White believes his life can't get any worse. His meager salary barely covers ends meet, a situation likely not to improve once his pregnant wife gives birth and their teenage son is suffering from cerebral palsy. But when Walter discovers that he's dying, he is horrified to realize that his deathbed will probably cause financial hardship for his family. Walter then makes every effort to make as much cash as possible with his limited time by making a makeshift meth lab out of an RV. Breaking Bad has a 9.5 trading in IMDb and a 97 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Run, Mr. White, run! Get a little excitement in your life. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it.